everyone it's diane and this is the angel hug for friday saturday and sunday the 25th 26th and 27th of october and um, i'm just going to start with the secret language of color cards today and just see what sort of weekend we're probably going to have so friday um, we're looking at nourish your body and soul again so let's just continue that theme of really being good to ourselves really taking care drink lots of water as well because the more we go through this ascension process the more we're clearing cleansing and uh, evolving physically and on all dimensions the more dehydrated we can become when we do a lot of psychic work we can get very dehydrated very easily so nourish your body and soul today i'm going to say it's a lot to do with uh, the water the liquid intake as well as the food and continue that theme of knowing how much we deserve to have love and and joy and all of those things through nourishing our bodies through being really good to ourselves um, and i'm not saying that this is a dogma this isn't something that you have to do all day every day although food can be a very powerful way of raising our vibration but this is what we're working on this week it seems it seems like it's gonna the theme is going to continue um through the weekend so let's see what we get for saturday enjoy clear hearing and what i'm going to say about that is that when we do go through those periods, periods of purification, it does help. They do help to rate because they raise our frequency. They, this idea of raising our frequency, it's like we say some of these things, we just say them so much, we forget what they actually mean. So let's just have a quick recap on that, as I understand it anyway. Um, so we have our guides and our angels and our teachers and masters in other dimensions, which are finer, which are higher in frequency. And we are here living in this physical density for the most part anyway a lot of us are not always but let's just say that's where we are placing our consciousness for the majority of the time and because we are here and they are there we need to find ways to connect and one of the ways to connect is that they battle through tons of um, energies and, and, and beings and lifetimes and consciousness and emotions and thought forms and thoughts and, and all of these other processes and things that flesh is there to, to get to us us. And the other way is that we raise our consciousness, raise our frequency, raise our vibration in order to get to them. And there's a meeting point, there's a place halfway where we, we you know, they come to meet us and we go up to meet them. And what happens is that all the things we do to raise our frequency, we're not just doing it to raise our frequency and raise the frequency of the planet, which is what we do as a consequence of raising our own frequency. We're also doing it because this can help us to hear that guidance, to feel, sense and know our guides and their presence and their wisdom. So for Saturday, if you've actually taken that on board, this thing of loving the body, of raising the frequency through loving the body, then Saturday you should reap the rewards of that and begin to have a greater sense of connection. And um, I feel as if I'm going to pick two cards for Saturday. Let's just see what we get from the daily guidance cards that will go with clear hearing. Enjoy clear hearing. Cupid. OK, so this is going to be a day for hearing clearer messages about love and about relationships and about romance and also about you know, where to connect, where not to connect so much. So Saturday is going to be a really great day to. So and this makes sense to me because I think, you know, self-love. Sorry to use another cliche, but I think self-love. OK, loving the body, nourishing the body, taking care of the body and therefore hearing a different kind of guidance, the guidance that we hear inside ourselves about what we deserve, where we deserve to be, who is a good connection for us. And then being able to hear our guides, their guidance from outside about what might or might not work or because they don't in involve themselves too much in interfering with our free will, at the very least being able to hear our hearts much more clearly. These things will all have an impact on how we feel about the intimate connections we make and how we get close or whether or not we do decide to get close uh, with particular people. So that feels like it could be quite an interesting weekend for relationships. And I'm going to just pick one card from the heart deck now, what I, I now call the heart deck um, for Sunday, just as a final message. So um, they're actually the guardian angel cards. OK, and the message for Sunday is intuition. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical 
may not necessarily be right. So in other words, continue the theme of making the decisions and the choices and gaining the understandings through the heart, through the higher awareness, through raising the consciousness, rather than thinking, you know, well, what seems to make sense, what looks logical from the outside. Trust the energy, trust the frequency, most of all, trust the loving vibration. It may not look right, it may not make sense to other people, but if the loving vibration is there, if the love is there and your heart sings, trust that. Okay, um, the answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. And that's a great note to end on for Sunday and the week. Have a great weekend, everyone. And thank you again for listening, watching. Thank you so much again for your love and your support and your messages. And I'll be back next week. Bye.